What's up everyone, Peter Combofin Rosas here to discuss Makoto in Ultra Street Fighter 4. The Rindicon Queen has long been grappling foes in the Street Fighter 4 series, and although explosive, she's viewed as not all that threatening when you're outside of her throw range, and also seen as a little bit linear. Let's explore some of her more pertinent changes to see if that's all been addressed. Makoto's crouching heavy kick is a great tool to catch those who are trying to jump away from a potential command grab. The big issue with this attack, however, was that it did less stun than the other heavy attacks in the game, leaving Makoto players to look for other options. In an effort to make this attack more effective, the stun has been increased by 80. Makoto's light and middle versions of the Tsurugi attack are great for blowing up opponents who like to throw or use low attacks constantly. If it hits, Makoto can connect her ultra, land a big combo, or if blocked, keep her relentless pressure going without much worry of the opponent countering it. In an effort to balance out the risk associated with this attack, Makoto's disadvantage when the attack is blocked has been slightly increased when done from the lowest point. Outside of EX Hayate, Makoto had no real way to combo off of her range attacks, thereby limiting her offense. To help address this, her EX Fukuyage now hits standing opponents. As this is rather strong and can lead to all kinds of new offense, the damage and stun associated with the attack has been reduced to prevent it from being a little too strong. Additionally, this attack has no invincibility, so be careful when throwing it out. Makoto's Seichuzen Godzantsuki was responsible for many comebacks and was very easy to connect off of a variety of attacks. Due to the fact that this ultra is almost guaranteed to land once per round, the damage has been reduced so that Makoto players will depend on it less. Makoto's Abare Tosunami Ultra was created with the idea of giving Makoto a way to fight projectile characters. The way it has been more commonly used, however, was to avoid pressure and for her to get out of jail free. This has since been adjusted with the removal of the attack invincibility from the start of the Ultra, however, she still retains the projectile invincibility. Although Makoto has received a few nerfs, she is still that much better this time around. She can now keep up the momentum that much more due to her EX Fukuyage and cross-up buffs, whereas the crouching hard kick will now stun those who try to jump away faster, making her that much scarier. 